The election is fundamentally Draghi versus the rest of the political party. But the problem is that if uh, Mario Draghi is elected as a president, he will be able to secure his role for the next seven years, but won't have any executive uh, role, <clears throat> which is where he gave uh, his best, both at ECB and in Italian government. So, um, so that's the, the, the dilemma as the FT calls it today, uh, whether Draghi will go to be president, um, which means he will have a, a longer stability role for the system but won't have any, <clears throat> any role as an executive, or vice versa, whether he will stay. Of course, there is a very negative scenario where we will lose him for both roles, but I don't want to talk about that because I don't... I don't I believe that would be really terrible. Now I'd like to ask you as well about what sort of financial reaction reaction in financial markets I should say you're expecting in case Mario Draghi does not become the next president. Well, uh, if Mario does not uh, re become president but remains as head of government uh, I don't expect major repercussions. Uh, the key reper I mean, markets dislike uncertainty. So they would like to see what is the next uh, scenario. Uh, and then both scenarios will work, in a sense. While uh, if uh, the uncertainty is prolonged, because we can vote forever without electing, uh, without electing the president, then they could dislike it. Let me add that the market is not quiet anyway because there is plenty of uh, shocks from Ukraine to the Fed, etc. So these things could combine in a sort of negative cocktail.